everybody. It's Sam Jacobs. You are listening to the Sales Hacker Podcast, and this is Friday Fundamentals. So uh, happy Friday. Today, we're going to talk to this week's guest, Karsten Hetty, who is the author of a trilogy of books under the moniker of Birth of a Salesman series. They're on Amazon if you want them. And, uh, and he also is a cloud specialist at Microsoft. And we're going to be talking about how to set up an effective referral system. And Carson used uh, referral systems and referral strategies to become uh, the number one seller in all of Microsoft, I believe, either last year or the year before, or recently. Um, He'll tell us when. So uh, we want to hear about that because too many sellers out there are not asking for referrals and it dramatically impacts your business. If you can just get in the habit of constantly asking uh, a few simple questions and putting a system in place to help you track that. Now, before we get there, Friday Fundamentals is brought to you by Outreach. Outreach triples the productivity of sales teams and empowers them to drive predictable and measurable revenue growth. So by prioritizing the right activities and scaling customer engagement with intelligent automation, Outreach makes customer-facing teams more effective and improves visibility into what really drives results. What all of that means is that Outreach can layer in automation into your sales engagement and sales development process while still giving you the ability to personalize, to be authentic, and to be human, Uh, which is, of course, if we're in sales, we want to be human. We don't, we're often not presented with an alternative, but there there it is. Now, coming up in March, Outreach is running Unleash 2019, which is the sales engagement conference. It's going to be the definitive great new sales engagement conference. It's going to take place March 10th through 12th in San Diego. If you're listening right now and you want to go, I'll be there. Uh, a bunch of people that I've interviewed on the pod will be there. Very famous people. Barack Obama will be there. Actually, he will not be there. But um, listeners of the pod get $100 off simply for entering the code SHPOD. So hop over to unleash.outreach.io and use the code SHPOD to save $100 off your ticket. Um, we hope to see you there. And now, Carson, let's talk Friday Fundamentals. You've said one of the key differentiators in your sales process is setting up a referral system. Give us uh, what you mean by that and give us a couple key tactics to help us put referrals into our sales process. Love to, Sam. Uh, Thanks for having me. And um, referrals, it it means a a wide variety of things to different people. And, you know, I subscribe to the philosophy that really anything that you're doing that adds probability or enhances the probability of success, those are the types of activities that you want to do. And that's the focus that you want to instill in your process. And there's no better uh, relationship than a warm relationship. There's no better relationship or a new lead than a referral. You know, somebody that uh, has been recommended to you or that uh, comes to you via a warm relationship. And so what I mean by that, and I'll give you an example, you know, a few years back when I started at Microsoft, um, I was in a brand new role and uh, did a lot of prospecting and, and things of that stature. But I, I, looking at my kind of my ecosystem and the target customers, they were folks that were being worked with by other partners, other business partners that may or may not have sold some of the things that I sold. So I managed to spend a lot of time looking at uh, some of the areas where maybe they were compensated, but I wasn't, and then vice versa, and making a relationship with that partner and saying, hey, you know, when I get these types of opportunities, I want to add value for you and I want to bring these types of deals to you in exchange would love it if I'm the one you're thinking of when customer brings up XYZ product that I sell and forming that symbiotic relationship. Now, it's important to stay top of mind with those folks and they're not always just going to kick you deals just because you asked nicely. So definitely make good on your promise and deliver some of that value. And sometimes that could be delivered even with you know no necessary promise of getting anything in return. But the more you do that and the more you invest in those relationships, the more they're going to pay dividends. Now, that's one way. That's one way that referrals are important. I think another way, too, is we do a lot of prospecting into, uh, you know, maybe it's LinkedIn or maybe it's some of these other platforms. When you're doing that or when you're emailing a new prospect, always be sure. And, and, you know, guys, a lot of times when when you're selling, you know, it's small tweaks that can make a large impact into your results. Just ask, be sure you're asking for other folks that you should be talking to, whether that's, you know, when you're reaching out on LinkedIn, whether you're sending an email to a prospect, uh, you know, let them know, hey, if there's somebody else that should be included in this conversation, if there's somebody else that perhaps I should be speaking with or that could give me a unique insight on this this business question, I would love to talk to that person. And then finally, be responsive, jump on it immediately. If you get these names, you know, I don't know about you, but when I'm in a meeting or I'm, I'm invited to a meeting, I'm a 
immediately connecting with these folks on LinkedIn because you never know when you're going to connect with them again. Uh, you also want to make sure you're top of you stay top of mind, you know, with your social postings, they're seeing it and they sometimes it'll jog their memory that they owe you a response. Log those leads, you know, whether you've got a CRM tool, whatever that looks like, make sure you have something in place where you are reminding yourself to stay on top of these relationships. And the more quality touches that you have and the more that you jump on these referrals and these folks that you're told that you should talk to, the better off, number one, those relationships will be, but also number two, uh, that you'll be able to enhance the relationship and that it will yield some kind of result. That sounds fantastic. I'll, I'll add one last thing before we go. Asking for referrals is great. Make sure you do it in the following way. Don't ask a yes or no question. Ask an open-ended question. So instead of saying, do you know anybody else that I might be able to talk to? Because you make it very, very easy for the person to say no. You say, who else do you know that I should be talking to? And then instead of getting nervous about it, just uh, be quiet and let them think about it. And uh, and then they'll give you a couple names. So open-ended referral request versus closed yes or no referral request often works better. Carson, thanks so much for being on the show this week. Uh, we really appreciate it. We want to check out the books, Birth of a Salesman. And folks, if you want to reach out to Carson, you can. He is uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, he's a very active LinkedIn user, not the least of which is because, of course, Microsoft purchased LinkedIn. And thanks, Carson, for being on the show. Sam, thank you. We'll talk to everybody soon. And uh, if anybody wants to reach out to me or get in touch with me for feedback on what we've been up to, that's always welcome as well. Uh, LinkedIn.com slash the word in and then slash Sam F. Jacobs. And I will also respond. So I'll talk to everybody soon. And uh, thanks again for listening.